हेलो टिकीज इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न हाउ टू वर्क विथ गेट फाइल मेटा डेटा एक्शन एंड गेट फाइल मेटा डेटा यूजिंग पाथ एक्शन विच आर अवेलेबल अंडर वन ड्राइव फॉर बिजनेस एक्शन लेट मी ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप दि फर्स्ट एक्शन दट इज गेट फाइल मेटा डेटा एक्शन ऑन टू दि वर्क स्पेस the main purpose of this get file metadata action is to get the metadata information for a particular file first of all we'll see what is metadata metadata it means it's a collection of information in our scenario metadata is nothing but a collection of information of the particular file if you see the parameters for the get file metadata we are having only single parameter that is file now by using connection references we have connected to one drive for business from there we are going to get our files what is the file that we have we are going to select the file or folder and then i'm going to select the root folder inside my root folder again we are having two subfolders and again from the subfolder that is power automate desktop i'm going to select the file that is pad.docx let me select that now if you see advanced i am having timeout by using this action get file metadata will get the information or collection of information about the particular file where we can store the output over here about this information that will be stored in the variable produce that is get file metadata response all right let me click on save now let me go back to the one drive for business in browser there you can see i am the having the file that is pad.docx now i want to get the information about this power automate desktop document file which is available in the power automate desktop how can we go ahead and get it by using get file metadata action this get file metadata action will get only the information which are available in one drive for business all right now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started there you can see it is trying to get the information of the particular file which is available in one drive folders that by using get file metadata and the output is stored inside get file metadata response there you can see under the flow variables i am having the output let's double click on that to see the metadata information now if you observe the properties over here which are available in get file metadata response first one is the id id of the particular file which we have given and you can see the name the name of the file is pad.docx and the name with no extension that is pad and display name it is showing it as pad.docx and you can see the path over here i am having root inside my root i am having power automate desktop slash power automate desktop dot docx and the last modified it has been modified on 28th and the size you can see the file size is 15478 and the media type over here this is document format right so that you can see dot docx and the it is folder no it is not a folder it is a file so that the value is false over here and in the same way you can see e tag file locator and last modified by and these are all the metadata information or collection of information about the particular file we can get it by using get file metadata action i hope you understand how to work with get file metadata action to collect the information about the particular file which is available in one drive for business now we will learn about the get file metadata using path action now this get file metadata will get the information from the one drive only but whereas let assume if i'm going to upload a document by using create file and then from there if i want to collect the information in that case i'm going to use the path which is available in the create file in that case we cannot use get file metadata if i want to get the information or collection of information about the particular file by using path in that case i'm going to use get file metadata using path action before using this get file metadata using path let me disable this get file metadata action and then i'm going to enable this two actions that is convert file to binary data and create file action 
because by using create file we are going to upload a file into the one drive and then by using path we are going to get the information about the particular file by using get file metadata using path action let me drag and drop now if you see the purpose of this get file metadata using path which it will get the metadata or collection of information of a file by using path now the path is that i'm going to select a path over here this will be looks like the same as is from the get file metadata but over there it will get the information by using file whereas this action will use path over here all right now let me select the root and then i'm going to select the power automate desktop and then i'm going to select pd.docx this is the path that we are going to give it or else i'm going to get the path from the create file so that i'm going to have the response that is create file response right let me go to the variables and then i'm going to select create file response inside that i'm having a path over here all right now the collection of information will comes as an output and it will be stored inside the variable produce that is get file metadata by path response all right let me click on save and then let's run the flow to see the output but before running i'm going to delete this file from the one drive for business let me delete the file now in my one drive i have zero files now by running my desktop flow i will upload a file as well as i will get the information about the file by using get file metadata using path action flow execution started and if you observe a file has been uploaded successfully into the particular folder in one drive that is power automate desktop folder with the name of pad.docx now if you observe the output in the desktop flow that we are having the output get file metadata by path response right let me double click on that and if you see the properties for the particular variable that is get file metadata by path response these are all the same as is that is get file metadata action properties and you can see i am having property and the value that is one is id name name no extension display name and you can see the path over here lost modified by the size of the file and the media type and is it folder or not and the e tag file locator lost modified by these are all the properties which it is similar to the get file metadata only but the difference for the both is that one will be getting the information by using file the another one that is get file metadata by path action will give the response by selecting the file path all right let me click on close i hope you understand how to collect the information that is metadata by using get file metadata action as well as get file metadata using path action as part of this tutorial